Hi, I'm Ricky Johnson with Microchip Technology. This will be a very brief tutorial on how to set up a wireless module to send and receive data to and from a smart device. For this, I will be using an RN4871 Bluetooth Low Energy Clickboard. I have my project open to use the PIC 16F18855 and my MPLAB code configurator open. To set up this module, I will first add a USART peripheral. Next, I will enable transmit and receive. Additionally, I will change my baud rate to 115,200. This is the default baud rate for the Bluetooth Low Energy module. Next, I will enable USART interrupts so that an interrupt is generated whenever the Bluetooth module receives any data. I will also enable the redirect STDIO to USART checkbox. This will allow us to use printf statements in code. Notice the percent error of the baud rate. We want this number close to or below 2%. Therefore, I will go to the system module and change my clock to high frequency internal oscillator. Next, I will change my internal clock to 8 MHz and change my clock divider to 1. Next, I will navigate to the interrupt module and make sure that the RX interrupts are enabled. For this example, I will not need TX interrupts. The last thing that we need to do is configure our pins. I will set the TX pin to RC5 and the RX pin to RC6. This should be all that we need to do for our setup, so I will go ahead and click the Generate button. Over in the main.c file, I am going to first enable global and peripheral interrupt. Next, every half second I will transmit something to my phone via the printf statement. Lastly, in the usart.c file, I will scroll all the way down to the usart receive ISR. At the bottom of this function, I will print the return value of the getch function. Since I am printing this value out like we did in the main loop, I should expect to see whatever I send from my smartphone echoed back to me after I send it. Through this, we will be able to verify that our module is not only successfully transmitting, but also successfully receiving information. As you can see, the string that I am sending in my while loop is being received by my device. Additionally, you should note that anything that I send from my device is being echoed back to me successfully. For more information and examples about using wireless communication, please see the link provided in the description below.